the lady was doing like the normal ultrasound on my belly and then all of a sudden she was like hey let's see if we can get a cute little 3d for you guys and she like switched out this other transducer <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It is time for my week 9 and 10 pregnancy update. Sorry that I had to do them together in one vlog. I was out of town, well really out of town. We went to Hawaii for a wedding last week and I had intended to do my pregnancy update while, either while I was there or right when I got back and it just did not happen. There was just so much going on and I was super overwhelmed. So I ended up just deciding to combine them into one pregnancy update. So let's go ahead and get started. So I guess I'll do nine weeks first so you can kind of hear what was going on last week. So first off, here's what the Ovia Pregnancy app says baby looks like at nine weeks old. Last week, baby was about an inch long, which is roughly the size of a pecan or pecan, however you say it. I don't even know how I really say it. I feel like I say both ways, it's kind of weird. At nine weeks, baby's body parts are completely intact and now it's kind of just time for them to grow bigger. Baby's eyelids are also about to start fusing shut for the next four months before they actually reopen again inside the womb. Baby also has toes and bones and joints that are starting to move around. In week nine, perhaps the most exciting thing that has happened was that I was able to hear baby's heartbeat with my at-home fetal Doppler that I bought back when I was pregnant with my daughter Kylie. And I remember I had tried with her as well at like nine and a half weeks pregnant, so I figured I'd give it a go at nine and a half weeks right when I got back from Hawaii. Although I don't do it every single day, I have been able to find it successfully every single time I've tried since that first time. So that's really reassuring because if anything happens out of the ordinary, which something did during week nine, I'll share with you that in a minute, um, it's reassuring for me just to know that like everything is okay. So it's been really nice to have that. The one that I own is a womb music fetal Doppler. Um, it comes with like earbuds and a splitter and all kinds of stuff. I actually bought it on Amazon, but I went and looked and Amazon doesn't sell it anymore. I think not for like a bad reason. I think they went independent and they have their own website now where you can order them and they don't, they just don't sell through Amazon. So what I will do is I'll leave that link to the website down below for you guys. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I think they are awesome. And I will also leave a link to a similar one that I found on Amazon down below for you guys. If you are totally into ordering stuff off Amazon. Amazon like I am. You also have to buy some ultrasound transmission gel to go with it. So I bought this kind and it works out great and it was pretty cheap. So I will leave a link for that down below as well. So for my entire week nine of pregnancy, I was in Hawaii and I feel like it intensified my symptoms a little bit just because of like all the travel and all the things that we were doing. We were like, go, go, go constantly. So I was super tired while we were in Hawaii. I took naps with Kylie pretty often um, in the middle of the day. I also felt super nauseous the first couple of days and then it kind of like tapered off a little bit and then it came back after we got back from Hawaii. So definitely some nausea happening in there. I have felt ligament pain a couple of times, not often yet, although I know later on in my pregnancy this happens all the time, but sometimes when I'm laying in bed at night and I'm like all curled up and sleeping, like I usually sleep in the fetal position so I've got my legs tucked up, and if I happen to sneeze while I'm in that position and like my body has been resting for a few hours, the, I don't know if they're my round ligaments or just some other ligaments somewhere that are holding everything in place inside, but they literally feel like I have a Charlie horse when I sneeze and it hurts so bad. It's happened to me twice now. So that has not been very fun, but I know what it is and I know that it goes away after a couple seconds as long as I just kind of relax. So I've been dealing with that now. I'm also still very much out of breath and very bloated. And when we were in Hawaii, I think the humidity and like putting sunblock on my skin and stuff really made my face and like my shoulders, which is super gross. I know it doesn't normally happen to me, break out. And it was just like, oh, it was so gross. So I'm actually kind of excited to be back in Denver because it's really dry here and my skin is starting to clear up a little bit more again. And yeah, one of the scariest symptoms that I had for week nine is if you've been following my pregnancy updates, you can probably guess what it was. That's right, I started spotting while I was in Hawaii again. And I was super freaked out because I couldn't go to the doctor even if I wanted to. My doctor is here in Colorado. And I was kind of trying not to worry about it because I it has happened before. It happened in, I think, weeks 
four or five and again in week seven. So this was the third time that I've had spotting and I was just trying to keep myself calm and zen while we were there, but it was really, really hard to do. So it did last, I wanna say the spotting started like two days after we showed up in Hawaii and lasted the rest of the trip all the way until we got back home from Denver the next day. When we got home, I immediately whipped out the Doppler because it was like, at that time where I was able to hear it at that point. So I pulled that out, found the heartbeat right away, which made me super relieved. But I was also still really nervous. So I called the doctor anyway, just to see what they had to say and if they thought it wasn't anything that I should be super worried about. And they wanted me to come in anyway for an ultrasound just to make sure from their end that things were still indeed okay. So I went in for an ultrasound and found out that baby is measuring completely on track. Everything is totally good to go. Baby's heartbeat was I think 178 beats per minute and everything looked totally fine. In fact, they couldn't even find a reason like why I might have been spotting. They looked for all kinds of things like blood pockets and I don't even know. But they're like, yeah, we found nothing. They're like, we have no idea. Hopefully it's just one of those things and it eventually stops altogether. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Cool thing was when they did the ultrasound, I'd never had one of these with Kylie. Um, the lady was doing like the normal ultrasound on my belly and then all of a sudden she was like, hey, let's see if we can get a cute little 3D for you guys. And she like switched out this other transducer and started doing it and I was like, amazed because she pulled up a little 3D ultrasound in like two seconds on the screen and I was like whoa because I never had one of those at all with my daughter. By the time they took the ultrasound I was actually exactly 10 weeks pregnant so that part of the update's coming up next and this is what baby looked like. So you can actually see like the little arms and little leg buds sticking off and then this giant thing right here is the umbilical cord and of course baby still has a giant head but they're growing into it no tail anymore or anything but I just thought that was the coolest thing ever I've never seen one of these before except for like other people's ultrasounds and it's usually like just the face so it was cool that they were able to see the entire thing so for week 10 of pregnancy which is where I'm currently at I think I'm actually 10 weeks and four days so I'm like a little over halfway through my 10th week here's what Ovia pregnancy says baby looks like Baby is about an inch and a quarter long. They say about the size of a kumquat, which are like those little orange fruit looking things. Like, like an orange mixed with a grape. That's what I think of when I think of a kumquat. But anyway, baby is starting to get little teeny tiny human features like little bits of hair and teeth buds, elbows and joints that bend around and they can make a fist almost. And the digestive system is fully functional, which is pretty amazing actually. As far as my symptoms for week 10, they're basically the same as all the ones I just mentioned for week nine. And then I think one I can add is I've noticed a lot more prominent belly itching, like from the stretching skin already, which is crazy because as we've mentioned in several of my updates already, I should not be showing yet, but I guess because it's baby number two and because of all the bloating, I do have like a pretty sizable little small bump going on. And so my skin is stretching and it's actually itchy. So I think I need to go order myself um, the Burt's Bees Mama, Mama Burt's Bees, I forget what it's called, the Burt's Bees Belly Butter. And uh, I use that with all of my pregnancy with Kylie and I don't have any stretch marks I mean possibly partly genetic but I would like to think that the lotion helped out too so I'm gonna have to get a jar of that I'll leave a link to it down below I absolutely love it because it's not greasy and it actually smells very like almost like nothing but it does have a slight fragrance but it's not overwhelming especially if you're like sensitive to smells or anything when you're pregnant which I'm not but I know some people are Funny story, Mike and I went out to a like little party in the park thing, which you'll see in our upcoming family vlog. But while we were at the park, a total stranger actually asked me how far along I was. I was like playing with Kylie over on the slide and I did not expect somebody that I don't know to ask me that. And I was like, I kind of laughed and I was like, uh, 10 weeks and her jaw like hit the ground. She was like, what? I could tell she was about to be like, are you sure it's not twins or some other stupid remark that most people make? And I was like, definitely just one baby. You know, I don't even, I don't have an answer for you. I'm just, you know, bloated and whatever. And she kind of laughed it off. But I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy that total strangers now can tell that I'm pregnant. So speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my bump shot for I guess what technically would be week 10. I'll show you guys what it looks like super bloated first and then I will suck it in as best as I can to show you what the actual baby bump would look like at this point. So I'm starting to stretch out my yoga pants to the max at this point. I may have to switch over to my pregnancy leggings. You can see it's like got lines all over my belly because it's so tight. Um, but yeah, so this is my bump 
uh, at 10 weeks, 10 and a half weeks, and this is with all the bloating from having eaten food and whatnot. Um, if I suck it all in, it looks more like this, which still looks fairly normal, I guess. It's really hard to suck it in though. So ugh, let me try to go quickly here. So that's the front. So you can even still see my muscle definition. So it's not too big of a real bump yet. And then that's from the other side. Ugh, but again, that feels much more comfortable to me. So that's what we do. So coming up in the near future in two days on Wednesday, I have my first official OB appointment, even though I've been to the doctor like a gajillion times already for this pregnancy. Um, it's like my first real appointment where they're gonna sit down and they're gonna do, I think like all of my blood work and talk to me about the pregnancy and things that I probably already know about. But I'm kind of excited because I'm sure they'll do the fetal Doppler while they're there and they'll be able to tell me baby's heart rate, which I can hear but not detect like how fast it is with this so I'm really excited for that and then I don't have another doctor's appointment until September 7th so that's a few weeks off from now so at this point I'm just kind of biding my time to getting to the second trimester which I will officially be in the second trimester once I hit 14 weeks so I'm about three and a half weeks out from that marker and I am so excited because I feel like I'll be able to finally like breathe a little bit easier even if spotting does happen again god I hope it doesn't but if it does I feel like I'll still be able to relax a little bit more knowing that things are kind of like probably more than likely going to be okay all right so that's it for my weeks 9 and 10 pregnancy update if you guys liked today's video please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time bye